So you've got some comics you want to mail out. I'm going to show you an easy, fast, and safe way to get them packaged that even a cat would love. Want to know what it is? Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I wanted to do a video because actually, a bunch of my subscribers have asked for this video. And I saw a video from one of my subscribers, and I want to give a quick shout out to him Red Reggie Simmons Pro. Uh, he does some great work, so shout out to him. Please subscribe to his channel. And he made a very good video on how, how you can mail comics. Now, nothing that he did was wrong. So I want to give a shout out, and I want anybody to think I'm disrespecting him because I think he's a great person, and I actually messaged him first privately to make sure that he was okay with me making a video that could show a couple of more improvements because there's a couple of things I've seen in many videos that try and teach people how to mail comics. Good ways, but not the best ways. So I'm going to show you the absolute best way that's actually easier, faster, and safer for your comics. Okay, so I just picked four random comics. So I wouldn't do more than eight at a time. You could maybe get away with ten, but I really wouldn't go that far. But I'm just going to show you four books. Now, the first thing I always see people do is get the cardboard. Then they take the four comics, they place them in, they tape them down, they tape this down, and do that. Now, like I said, that's not bad, and it's not wrong, but I'm going to show you a couple reasons why there are better ways. Because first of all, when you notice about comics, especially if you're somebody that's been collecting comics for a long time, this side of the book, where the staples are, are always going to be thicker. Okay, because of the fact that it's folded over. So you're going to have that little... You ever see when you have a bunch of comics all stacked on each other for too long, you get that little concave indent along here? That's why, because it's the fact that people stack their comics on top of each other, all facing the same direction, and because this side is a little thicker and heavier, after a while it leaves that concave indent. So you have to remember, when you're mailing this package... It's not going to be standing up. It is most likely going to be placed in this direction in the post office and in the mailboxes. So the longer they stay flat, especially when you are taping them down, which is basically compressing them, you could actually damage this side of the book. And especially if you're getting a book graded, you want to be very careful about that because remember... The difference between a 9.8 and a 9.6 could be hundreds of dollars. And something like this, especially if you have like a king size issue or two, it's going to compress. So you don't want to do that. Again, it's not bad because it's, you know, the problem is like, for example, if you send your books to CGC, those books, unless you're paying for the faster service, are going to be sitting around for months, which means you have all that time that they've been, like I said, they're going to have them laying down flat. So you're talking who knows how many other packages they push on top of one another, leaving these could be, com you know, compressed over time. And a person could end up thinking, oh, I thought this was going to be a 9.8, and it comes back a 9.6 or a 9.4. So this is the first thing you want to do. You're going to start with one facing up, then one facing down. One facing up and one facing down. Because what that does is it evenly distributes the comic books where there's two on the thick side on this side and two with the thick side on this side it's equal distribution of the weight which will keep this centered so even if it's compressed it is being compressed evenly instead of all on one side now another mistake i see people make and i'm gonna show you an easy way to do it where it's even so much faster than the tape method again it's a good method but this is a little bit better. See, what happens is when you seal this and you tape this around, even if you use blue tape, we as comic collectors are going to take our time to peel off that tape. Remember, when you're talking 
like CGC, PGX, CBCS, where they have tens upon tens of thousands of books they have to grade as fast as they can, they're not going to take time. And they could be careless ripping these off. So especially if you are going to tape these books down to here, even if you are extremely careful, if you put too much tape or you don't fold the edges, or even if you do everything right, if they pull these too hard, let's say you have a piece of tape in the corner. Well, if they yank this off, you're now bending this side of the comic, which could, again, damage even the tip of the comic. Which, again, if you're looking for a 9.8, you're not going to get it if you bend the tip. So even with the tape, put with blue tape, the painter's tape, even if it's done correctly, you're assuming that the people that are in charge of taking these books out are going to be as careful as you are. Don't make that mistake. So here is an easy way with something I guarantee most of you already have that can make this so much easier. Any of you that ever go to a comic book store are going to have these. They're called comic book bags, okay? People buy their comics and they put them in these bags. And stupid New York put a new law that you have to pay five cents for each bag no matter where you are in New York. I think it's the stupidest rule. It's five cents, but still, you know, just to put something in a bag, grocery shopping or anything. But, and as a plug out to one of the comic store I go to, one of them anyway, so a little shout out to them. But I'm going to show you a so much easier, faster way. Take these books. Again, make sure they are like this. Place them in the comic book bag. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure it's all the way down and all the way to the side. And then watch, you're going to see the extra amount that you have in here because the comics are there. You're going to fold this over. And then at the top, again, you're going to fold it over. So now you can see all four books are completely not able to move. So now, or you can cut that off. I recommend folding it like this because it keeps it steady. So now you're going to place them here on the cardboard. Put another piece of cardboard. Now you don't even have to tape it because everything is going to be secure because this is what you're going to do next. You want these kind of boxes. And before you put them in, you want to pre-cut these cardboards so they fit as snug as they can in the box. Now you see this extra room. So all you have to do is get a couple of more pieces of cardboard and get it until it's to the top. And then you could put some bubble wrap over here, close this up and mail it off. Now what I also do is I tape all the edges because if you know anything about the postal workers, rain or shine, especially in the rain, they will leave packages outside. And the last thing you want is any areas where water can leak in. So I take tape and I seal the entire box. So if you do it in this way, you are going to take a lot less time. You are going to have your comics very secure. And the people who grade these or buy them off of you from eBay are going to be so much happier that they don't have to spend 20 minutes trying to cut open something only to end up potentially ruining your comic. Or, you know, if you sell it on eBay, if the comic gets ruined, what are they going to do? Even if it's their own fault, what are they going to do? They're going to make up some excuse and they're going to get their money back. So especially if you're going to send a book to any of the grading companies, especially CGC, because they're going to be the most busiest. And like I said, unless you pay extra money for the faster service, this box is going to be sitting there for months. Now, how do most people stack their comics? They stack them this way. Do you think that they're going to stack the boxes this way or do you think they're going to lie them flat? So people don't think, unfortunately, about the other parts of this, not just the mailing part, but where it ends up. You want to make sure it cannot move around. So, again, and uh, I, I want people like even Reggie, because he's still relatively new, that there are even better ways than what so many channels show to mail the comic. Because now look how easy it is for me if I'm buying this comic or I'm a grader. Look how easy it is for me to take this out of the box, take these comics out, and now... 
they're ready to go. Instead of having to unpeel the tape off of here on all four sides or how many times you do it, then you have to take all the tape off around here, hoping they do it right without pulling on these and ripping them, and then only to find out that all the comics are facing this way, so for months they've been compressing, and it causes a tiny little indent, and it changes your 9.8 to a 9.6. So, again, shout out to Reggie. Uh, I've seen, if this is not just his channel that's doing it in a good way, but not the best way, there is no other channel out there that I've seen that will do it the way I just showed you. So... If, if you appreciate it, give it a thumbs up, but give it a shot. It's, I want to make sure it's the easiest way and the way to protect your comics. And um, I don't want to see anybody's comics get ruined because they thought they were doing the right thing. And it seemed like a good way to go, only to find out there was a little bit of a better way. So I hope that Reggie sees this as me also wanting to help him. I hopefully he doesn't see it as any kind of disrespect or anybody that's made these videos because a lot of people go with what they hear from other people. And you have to think a little bit deeper when it comes to your comic books and keeping them in the best condition. So let me know what you think. And uh, again, I want to give um, Reggie a shout out and a thanks. I wouldn't have made this video if he did not contact me from the email. Um, to me, everything's all about respect. So thank you for that. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to him. I want him to reach 1,000 subscribers. I mean, the first 1,000 is the hardest to get. So he's getting closer. So go, go subscribe to his channel. And uh, like I said, his video is pretty darn good. It's what most people talk about. So I'm not going to sit here and say, don't follow it because it's not good. This is just a little bit better. And that's it. That's all I want to say. So thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate it. Leave your comments. Go subscribe to Reggie's channel. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Have a great night.